in April, we headed home for the summer and left Siegel in the marina of Santa Cruz, Tenerife. Our journey took us through Spain. We first stopped in Madrid, from where we took a fast train to the city of Zamora, where we were welcomed by an old good friend, Horatio, who introduced us to the Spanish way of life. Zamora is the city with the most Romanesque churches in all of Europe. He also took us to Valladolid, which was the location of Europe's first moral debate on the treatment of indigenous people and is the city in which Columbus, the great explorer and navigator, died. We were also invited to a wine tasting with a great local specialty dinner. Gracias, Horacio! We went home to Sweden for the summer. We discovered that our new neighbors have goats. The family got together in Gothenburg. We spent time in Bistad, at our favorite beach place, Fritisborg. Unfortunately, during the summer, we had to move my mother into a nursing home. Our trip then took us to Marseille, France, where we wanted to visit Tobes Saint-Max, who at the age of 18 had just stepped out into the big world for the first time and started his own independent university life. Marseille is the oldest and the third most populated in France after Paris and Lyon. We had time to explore the many different faces of the old town and especially enjoy the veritable French bakery on the corner next to our hotel. At the end of our journey, we took a trip to the wonderfully romantic little town of Aix-en-Provence, the former capital of Provence. We were very happy to meet Max and glad to see that he really enjoys life here. Yeah, Tobe, welcome to Rue Galilei. Tobe Ingmarsson is an old friend for me. He has followed my, uh, my dreams and now he is on his dreams. And uh, yeah, what do you say about this? It's fantastic to, uh, to finally meet Janne, uh, who inspired me the biggest for my sailing adventures. And with his fantastic book, which I think is the absolute best book you can read when it comes to sailing. And uh, here I'm finally in uh, Marcellion in his uh, fantastic bed and breakfast that he started after the world tour and in uh, Marseillan in Rue Galilée. Yes, and we have, uh, yeah, you have the book in front of you. We you have both lift books. Lift it up a little yeah. bit. Okay, I lift them up. There is one in Swedish and there is one in English, so feel free. Yeah. These are fantastic reading. I highly recommend them. You can find the Brave or Stupid on Amazon if you want to have a read or uh, listen to it. It's an audiobook too. Right. And don't forget to visit your fantastic bed and breakfast here in Marseillan. No, oh, you're very welcome, everybody. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Diddy! <laughs> you're making a cocktail or a coffee? Yeah. This Colombian. Mm. Morning routine. You grind your coffee or something. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah. Therapy. On a beautiful day. We are opening the shower pump because the new shower pump. I poured some kind of anti odor smell, anti smell product in it, and it seems that it ruined the pump. But it had some 
Seo lit some stuff in it that was uh, non-soluble. Yeah, it looks <laughs> like it was not not something that you should throw into the shower. They don't like that, I think. It, it was, uh, yeah, well, I thought it will go through, but uh, obviously it got stuck. We hope. Well, we don't uh, know. We don't know, but we are hoping, yeah. So the, I don't know, some seolites that is non-soluble. It looks like a kind of sand. Yeah, it seems that they have been stuck. Okay. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Continue. I hope he will be able to fix it because for the time being I can't shower in my shower. Did you find anything? Yeah, there is this seolites in between the membranes. Meaning that the pump cannot prime. So you have to lift and get everything away so the membranes can can hold tight. Mm -hmm. right. Hola. Hola. ¿Qué tal? Bien, bien. What's happening today? Today we will have our 900 hour service of the engines by Yanma. Oh yeah, and yeah. the guys are here the actually. Guys are here and we are changing more or less everything, belts, impellers, filters of course, everything. Everything looks great so far. We are changing everything. It's now 900, 1000 hours, so it's time to make a big service. Mm -hmm. Sol, cambia el tiempo en el reloj. Hoy mis deudas reciben perdón. Pago por el show. So it's gonna be pizza today. We have this super opti grill that I'm trying now. Ooh. Looks yummy. When you leave the boat, you need to attach loose stuff like dinghies, dinghy engines, and uh, surfboards, kayaks, whatever you have, and specifically in the Caribbean. So, we bought a few things, and I have a few for my old Ducati. So, um, as you can see, you need to have some stuff uh, to lock the dinghy when you go in in the Caribbean to the bars, or to the pontoons, and you need long chains like these, these, and also here with coverage. So better be prepared. That's how it is. I'm going through our storage, food storage in the galley. And uh, I found actually that we have a lot of expired food, for example. This which expired already in 2022 and the metal already is corroding, so it it clearly s doesn't like this humid environment. So we have a problem leaking toilet. Grand here all over so you just opened it and then what did you find <laughs> yeah i don't know i never done this before and you have the pump there too so i guess that we need to to change we have a service kit for the pump uh, and and something they probably is a service kit also where the toilet is attached uh -huh. right so I don't know if I have all service kits, but um, the pump is there, and they say that normally, yeah. No. Yeah, you see on that side, you see the pump is sitting there. So. What kind of pump is this? Japsco. Yeah, again, of course, Japsco. Yeah. No, we have a service kit for that, but um, mm -hmm. if we have for the other one, I don't know. Oh, we have added uh, 
more fixed solar panels as these mobile flat ones on plastic it's not working very well so we have two times 110 there 110 watts each and these big ones the four we have one two three four they are each 190 watts we have about 1000 watts i think today we are going to mount this super uv security camera where do we put it on above the door because it should be a good angle to see the sugar scoops. We are not going through. No. It's too hard. No, it's plastic. Phew. It's plastic. No, I don't want to use the electricity. Well, we thought that it's gonna be a simple project, but it became a huge project. So here is the new camera, the UFI. This actually works with the solar panel, which you put on the, the roof. Here it is, the small solar panel sticking to the sun. This lovely family came to visit us today. Our new friends who run the smashing local foodie place La Escala. If you are in Santa Cruz, you should definitely check them out. The place is zen. Hi! Hi! Seagull! Yeah! Yeah. Where are you Here you are. Right there. So come, come see this. Okay. This yeah, is a catamaran. It has two hulls. You see? This one has two hulls. It's also a catamaran. This one is <laughs> not a catamaran. It's, a, it's one hull. Where's the seagull? No, this is, it's called the seagull. This is just to demonstrate how a relatively simple task can become a real struggle on a boat. Washing the bed mattress covers at the local laundromat is easy. But putting them back on the foam padding is no easy feat. After half an hour of hard work, I think I finally got it. Ah, oh, nice evening. I just wish that Salvamento would switch off his bloody engine. <laughs> finally. He needs light, you know. He needs light? Yeah. But connect to the electricity for God's sake. There is no electricity for him. But then go somewhere where he can connect himself yeah. to electricity. There's a burning and fossil fuels all the time. Look. Ah, can somebody please tell them to switch off the engine? At least for the night that we can sleep? There's no batteries. Yeah, but then go to sleep. <laughs> Salvamento. Don't complain about Salvamento, you can eat them. You are tired? <laughs> yeah, very tired today. Mm -hmm. I think we did enough. We okay. are seniors. I am a senior. You are just a junior. 